So now we are going to look at flag register. See accumulator is the default register in which it is having all the flags. We are having basically we are having five flags. All the status of the flags can be known by reading the accumulator. Now that accumulator is also known as program status word PSW. We can also set PSW. We will look at that later. Firstly we are going to look what all flags are present in 8085. So we are having five flags which are placed like this. S Z, then this is don't care, auxiliary carry, don't care, parity, don't care and carry. So basically we are having five flags, five flags and since you know accumulator has, accumulator is having, it's a 8 bit long register, that is why this is how the five flags are placed. Okay, S Z X A C X P X C Y. Okay, now this is this is the sign flag. Sign flag. Sign flag holds the MSB of the result. This is going to hold the MSB of result. MSB of result. If MSB is 1 that is if it is a negative number the sign flag is going to be 1. If it is a positive number that is MSB is 0 then the sign flag is going to be 0. This is the 0 flag. 0 flag. 0 flag is 1 if result is 1. This is 1 if, if result is 0. So if you are uh, performing some addition or subtraction such that result is 0, the 0 flag is going to show 1. Then this is don't care. This is don't care. So generally we consider don't care as 0 only. Uh, but in any case we know that uh, don't care means you consider 0 or 1. It does not matter. This is auxiliary carry. Auxiliary carry. Uh, see, uh, since you know that all the uh, registers in 8085 are 8 bit, so whenever you are performing an 8 bit addition operation, 8 bit subtraction operation, if a carry occurs from lower 4 bits to upper 4 bits, then that carry is known as auxil auxiliary carry. Uh, we can see an example to understand auxiliary carry first. Suppose, suppose we are adding two numbers, 27 plus F A. So uh, I am just representing these numbers in binary first. This 2 7 can be written as 7 is F A can be written as now I am performing their addition forming addition. So what happens is 1 and 0 is 1 1 1 is going to be 0 with carry of 1 1 1 is again going to be 0 with carry of 1 this is again 0 now see this carry this carry that occurred from lower 4 bits to upper 4 bits higher 4 bits this is known as auxiliary carry this is auxiliary carry that carry that occurs from lower 4 bits to higher 4 bits so if in any operation in any operation if this carry occurs this is known as auxiliary carry if this occurs this flag is going to be set this flag is going to be 1 ok fine uh, let's just complete this so 1 0 is again going to be 1 0 1 is going to be 0 1 this is going to be 1 1 0 1 0 and a carry of 1 so uh, let us just look at all the flags. Okay, first we can look at the flags, then we'll see what will be the status of the flags for this given example. This is the example, what is going to be the status of the flags. So auxiliary carry, this flag is going to be set. This flag is going to be 1. 1. If there is a carry, if there is a carry from lower 4 bits, lower 4 bits to to upper 4 bits upper 4 bits like in this case if they carry if a carry occurs like this then this is known as auxiliary carry then this p is the parity flag this is the parity flag uh, see there is a concept in uh, electronics of parity what does this signify is if there are even number of ones in the result then this is at, that is known as even parity if there are odd number of ones in the result then it is known as odd parity so this flag is going to be one 
this flag is one if parity is even if parity is even means if there are there are even ones in result even ones in result fine this is the parity flag then this this one is the carry flag carry flag and uh, obviously from the name itself we know that this flag will be set if a carry occurs this is one if carry occurs in the result carry occurs so we are going to look look at the status of this flag register for the operation that we have just performed we are going to look uh, at it one by one so sign flag for this result is sign flag is msb of the result here msb is zero so sign flag is going to be zero zero flag is going to be zero since the result is not zero this is going to be zero then we have don't care we take it as zero auxiliary carry has occurred so auxiliary carry flag is going to be one again we have don't care then we have parity we are going to count the number of ones in the result see number of ones in the result is two which means even parity so parity flag is going to be one again we have don't care and since carry has occurred so this flag is going to be one so uh, just just see what number is it in hexadecimal so this is one five so the flag register this flag register the value of this psw after execution of this result in microprocessor is going to be 15 this is how you can find the value of your flag register after any arithmetic operation we are going to take another example for this so suppose a register is holding a value 01 and register b is holding a value ff ff and we perform a instruction we are giving an instruction add b now first of all uh, let us look that what does this instruction do the function of this instruction is to add the contents of b to the contents of accumulator and the result is going to be stored in the accumulator itself okay one more thing the uh, status of the flag registers the uh, values of flag register are going to be determined based on the values of accumulator okay we are going uh, flag register can only be set its value can only be changed according to the contents of the accumulator only fine so uh, let us just perform the operation first a is holding this value 0 1 see this 0 1 was in hexadecimal i just converted into binary first contents of b are ff which are 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 I am just going to add, see the instruction is add b. So what happens is contents of b are going to be added to contents of accumulator and the result is going to be stored finally in the accumulator. So when I add 1, 1, this is going to be 0, 0, 0. So we have got an auxiliary carry, auxiliary carry. But again 0. So uh, see finally contents of the accumulator okay after this instruction contents of B are not going to change okay can be the register B is untouched contents of accumulator are going to be overwritten with the result which is zero uh, now just have a look at all the flags what is going to happen to uh, all the flags let us see sign bit sign bit uh, sign flag is set when msb of the result is 1 msb of the result is 0 so this is going to be 0 0 flag is going to be set because the final result is 0 then this flag is going to be 1 this is don't care auxiliary carry was present so we going to make this 1 this is 0 parity see there are 0 number of 1s or we can say even number of 1s present in the result so this is even parity this is going to be 1 0 and since a carry has occurred this is going to be 1 so as you read this number you just read this number what it is so if i want to write this number in hexadecimal it's going to be 55h 55h so this is going to be the value of the flag register after execution of this arithmetic operation okay so uh, generally if they are asking questions from this topic what they are going to do is they are going to give you a question similar to this they are going to give you contents of two registers they are going to give you the instruction and then they are asking the values of the flag register or they are giving the value of flag register initially and after execution of an instruction they are going to ask what is going to be the final value of the flag register 
So we are going to look at one more question from this module, then we will see another topic after that. So we are given a question, now we are looking at one more question. Initially, initially, flag register was holding the value, contents of flag register were 55, 55, accumulator or register A was holding the value 0, 3 and register E was holding the value holding value 2, 7. Now we are performing an instruction performing an instruction ADCE ADCE what is instruction is going to do is this instruction is add with carry this ADC means add with carry. So what this does is this is going to add the contents of register E to contents of register A along with the carry. So when we are trying to add with the carry first we need to know the present status of the carry. We need to know that whether carry is 1 or 0. So where does we get this information from is from the contents of this flag register. You already know that the flag register is SZX ACX px cy they've also given the contents of flag registers just put them put them so from here we see that initially carry was one initially carry was one okay so what they are asking is they are asking the final value of flag register what is going to be stored in the flag register they are asking so uh, we see from here that initially carry was one so what you are going to do is you are going to add the contents of a a which is holding 0, 3 with contents of E, E which is holding 2, 7 along with the carry. Carry initially is 1 so we are going to add a 1, 1. We just start with this addition. So this is going to become 1 with the carry of 1 again 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. See now there is no auxiliary carries okay. We are not getting any carry from lower 4 bits to upper 4 bits. So auxiliary carry is going to be 0. So final contents of register A are going to be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, fine. Now we are just going to look at the status of the flag. Flag register. S, Z, X, A, C, X, P, X, C, Y. Just going to look. MSB of the result is 0, so the sign flag is going to be 0, the result is not 0, so 0 flag is 0, don't care we considering 0, auxiliary carry was not present, so this is also 0, again don't care, now see number of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4 which is even, so parity flag is going to be 1, this is again don't care, 0, and there was no carry present, so this is going to be 0, so finally, Finally, what is going to be the content of flag register? 0, 4, H. So, this is what they are asking. They are going to ask you some questions like that. So, what you need to remember is what all flags this uh, 8085 is having. It is having a sign flag, 0 flag, auxiliary carry flag, parity flag and carry flag. How they are placed? They are placed in this order SZX, ACX, PX, CY and when which flag is going to be set and which flag is going to be reset. This is all you need to remember. After you have studied all the instruction, you can just see, you can just see from the value of accumulator which flag is going to be set and which is going to be reset. So uh, this is how you are going to attempt the questions from flag register. Then there are some operations that we can perform on this PSW and uh, we can also read the status of this PSW. We have got some instruction. We are going to look them together in the instruction set. Okay.